Hello everyone and welcome to the NewTek 3Play 3P1 Get Started Training. In this video, I'll show you how to use tagging. Now back in the 3Play 3P1 interface, on a previous video, I showed how you can add comments to your different clips so that you can go back and search for those so that you can throw them into highlight reels for different actions, etc. Now there's another way to do this that's a lot easier and that is using our tagging system. Now tags are gonna appear at the very bottom of the screen, so let's click on that to open it up. And let's take a quick overview of how to set this up. So, you have three different tabs here to assign different tagging numbers to. So we have a tab for team names, also our player jersey numbers, and then also an action. Now you can add an additional tag in here, as many as you want, uh, but I'm gonna keep this really simple and just keep it to where we only have our team names, our player, and then the action that uh, takes place. Now over here on the right, you can also import tags from say an Excel spreadsheet that you've already created. Now I recommend taking a look at the user manual to get some more details on how to set that up, but I'm gonna do this all manually for this particular demonstration. All right, and then also we have an option here for turning on edit tags, and this is where we're gonna go to start populating our tag information. So. From left to right, we have uh, zero to nine fields, and from top to bottom, zero to nine as well, which will make this easier for us to start using a 10 key system, for example. So let's type in our team number one, which will be red, and team number two, which is blue. Let's go over to our player tab and populate our jersey numbers for our players. And I've already done this previously, so you don't have to sit here and suffer watching me uh, type in all this information manually. And let's go over to action. So now this is where we're also gonna to need to take mental note of what action is gonna to correspond to what number. All right, so uh, we're playing basketball here, so let's do number one, a dunk. Number two, we'll do a field goal because that's two points. And three, let's do three pointers. All right, and we're gonna keep this simple, just a couple of fields for this. All right, so we can turn edit tags off. And now let's go ahead and collapse this menu. Now the easiest way to get to our tags is to use the control surface. So I'm gonna go and take a look at this clip here. Let's play it back in our clip list on A. Take a look. He shoots, he scores. Now, I don't know, is that a three-pointer? Let's take a look from a different angle. Send that out. Yep, his feet are behind the line. Boom, so now let's tag this event. So I'll click tag here and I'll type in the team name first so one and then his jersey number which was 24 and the action which is a three-pointer boom now take a look within our clip list now this particular clip has been tagged with the red team 24 and three-pointer so if I want I can go and start to search for different clips let's say I only want to look for clips from the the red team so let's go back and we'll click on search and then I'll hit enter. And then let's take a look for just clips from the red team. So I'll just type in one, enter. And now you'll see these are the couple different clips that have already previously tagged that are from the red team. Now I can go through and start to grab these different clips and throw them into my playlist creator by either using my keyboard and mouse or going through and just adding them to my playlist like that. So now I can create an entirely new highlight reel based specifically on my different search results. So as you can see, tagging is a great and fast way to quickly mark your clips so that you can find them later on. In the next video, I'll show you the outputs of the three play system.